What's the diagnosis? Let's go through the case. The most obvious abnormality is bilateral central opacity within the mid-zones of the lung. This is not a normal finding, no prizes for that one, but have a closer look. Within the opacity you can see branching lucencies. These are called air bronchograms and mean there is consolidation. Consolidation simply means there is something filling the air spaces within the lungs. It commonly occurs due to infection, but can happen with heart failure, hemorrhage and even some types of lung cancer, which is why we recommend following up consolidation with a repeat six-week chest x-ray. Bilateral mid-zone central consolidation on a chest x-ray is highly suggestive of pulmonary edema. Lower zone peripheral septal lines support the diagnosis. This is the cardiac MRI in this patient, and we can see the left ventricle is not really pumping as it should. The left ventricle is dilated, meaning the mitral valve is stretched, and you can see this jet of mitral regurgitation as a result. In this separate case, we've given gadolinium contrast, and we can see this layer of enhancement within the inner layer of the myocardium, the subendocardial layer. This relates to a region of infarction. In our case, in the lower image, there is no enhancement, making ischemic heart disease as a cause much less likely. The final diagnosis here was pulmonary edema secondary to idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy.